Hello everybody, how are you doing well today? Mark G with the Sea Back with another video and it's another CD update. I am flying through these at the moment, which I'm pleased about because, um, you know, when you're buying stuff, I tend to sort of want to keep it out of putting it away before I, um, before I put it away, I want to show it to you um, and talk a little bit about it. So it's nice to sort of get through these and be able to start um, filing stuff away. But yeah, I've got six CDs for you today. These are all CD EPs, so sort of four or five tracks. Some I have purchased from uh, Cavernous Records, Chris, um, and some I have purchased from Everlasting Spew um, over in Italy. So let's get into this, shall we? Straight off, we have got from Florida, Apostasy, Accuser of Brethren. Now this is a 2020 release, um, but it's a recording that was made back in 1993. I don't know if you can see it there. Now, these being a Floridian sort of death metal band, they don't sound Floridian at all. They, they certainly sound more um, sort of New York. They've got that immolation, more immolation and suffocation, but they've got those suffocation sort of blast beats in there. Um, I mean, it, I'm not sure if this is a, a demo recording or an official recording from back in the day, but it's, um, it's absolute quality. Look at that picture on the back. That's got 1993 written all over it. Yeah, it's superb. Um, from Tampa, I do believe. But uh, yeah, heavy, brutal sort of death metal. Not scared of the old blast beats in there, but definitely got more like a, a thick immolo immolation sort of guitar sound. Apostasy, Accuser of Brethren, we put that up there. Next up, we have got from California. And this is Crematory Stench. Look at that artwork. This is a four track um, EP released on FDA Records. I love the old school sort of way that's done. Um, about 20 minutes long, this is. This is just excellent. It starts off with a real sort of. Um, a lot of these sort of bands are, are doing these kind of 80s horror movie style sort of intros, uh, and this is no different. This is one of those. It's musically, um, it's it's got a, a real sort of pestilence kind of structure to the riffs. It, it's very very good vocally. Um, he sounds kind of similar to that. John Tardy sort of anguished a little bit of Martin Van Droon and maybe in there um, but do you know there's not much that comes out on FDA records that I don't like but this is superb I'm not sure if they've got a full length out but um, I'm certainly going to look to pick that up Crematory Stench and Grotesque Deformities if I didn't say that before it'll have been there won't it I, remember, I always remember to do that in the Edison so this is the band from Chile. Um, the cover for this instantly piqued my interest um, when I saw it. I thought I've got to have this. This is one I got from Chris at Cavernous. Um, this is Suppression and Repugnant Remains. Four tracks, short and sweet. I think it's about 13 minutes long this. This is superb. Looking at that album cover and the names of the songs, Human Rotting Flesh, Self Heating Alive, Fruits of Sickness. Um, the music is more akin to sort of atheist or sadist or maybe even death. The bass player uh, is very high up in the mix. I don't know if uh, he's playing a fretless bass, it, it could well be, but he's very prominent in the mix. Uh, and it's all the better for it. Great chuggy riffs, um, a little bit thrashy in places, but again, not scared to put the old uh, blast beat in there. Uh, absolutely brilliant. There's the CD and the guys in the band. But yeah, I was uh, the minute I saw that cover, I was like, I've got to check that out. Superb. Suppression, Repugnant Remains. 
Now, this is a Spanish band, and I've got another album by this band. Um, this, al this CD EP is on War Anthem Records. I think this is maybe 20 minutes long, not, not, a, um, not a long one by all means, but um, this is Graveyard and their EP, Back to the Mausoleum. Um, they, the other album I've got by these is very sort of old school Swedish death metal driven, that HM2 sound. Um, but I, I, I got off this more of a sort of bolt thrower-ish, morbid angel kind of vibe to it, and it wasn't as sort of HM2 heavy. Still a great thick guitar tone, vocals really deep in the mix, um, vocals very sort of uh, Carl Willis from Bolt Thrower. Um, First song, if I remember rightly, I think it's the first song and the last song. I've got some real beautiful sort of acoustic moments in there, um, so they're not scared. I mean, it's mainly sort of mid-paced, uh, just really, really good. You know, I, I love it when bands sort of rely on just the riffs to give it the heaviness. You know, they're not just all bang out there and trying to get in your face. It's like less is more, as I always say. Superb from Spain, Graveyard back to the mausoleum <clears throat> excuse me next up is the first band that I've um, ever been aware of from Costa Rica um, and this is if I'm saying it right Astriferous Ast Astriferous Astriferous yeah it's got to be the way to say it and their EP Raise High the Scepter of Indulgence now it's more not just an EP, it's more of a, a sort of a demo, um, which he says on the back. It's released by Chaos Records this 2020, I beg your pardon. This demo is an offering placed upon the altar of the riff. This is superb. It's doomy, death metal. You know, for a demo, it's really, really well recorded. About 20 minutes long. What, what I like about these... CDEP. Sometimes when you're sort of buying them, I'm thinking, oh, I'm only going to get 20 minutes of music, you know, for the money I'm buying. But I, I quite like that sometimes. I can I can put these on in my car and I've listened to it by the time I've got to work, so I can listen to it on the way home from work. It's nice to sort of get in there, have it smash your face off and get out of there, isn't it? But yeah, just, just brilliant. Do me, do me death metal. Melodic in places, real guttural vocals. Um, sort of that anguished style that, that seems to be very uh, prevalent in modern death metal at the moment. But yeah, excellent. I do think these have got um, a full length out, which I'm gonna need to, um, need to get my hands on. Oh, no. Astro Ferris. Okay, and last but not least, this is a, a band from Chicago. This is a four track um, EP, lasting nearly half an hour. Um, Excarnated Entity. I had to think about what that was then. <laughs> Excarnated Entity and Still Born in Ash. That cover art instantly, That I think it was on Everlasting Spurious and as soon as I saw that logo and cover art I thought mm, that looks interesting. It's on Nuclear Winter Records. This is old school death doom metal at its finest. Very Paradise Lost. In fact, when you listen to it and the sort of production, it could have been one of the one of the peaceful bands from back in the nineties. It's absolutely excellent. Um, it's got a it's got a my dying bride, like I say, paradise lost vibe to it. But it also kind of in places had a bit of a um, morbid angel sort of vibe to it. They're not scared to go from sort of doomy passages into blast beats, so it'll be going from quite a melodic do me moody part into just a little bit of chaos and I quite like that um, but yeah a new band on me it was uh, like I say the artwork that sort of got me excarnated entity that nuclear winter is quite a new label to me I have heard of it a few times but I don't know many bands on it so I should sort of delve a little bit deeper into that well that's it that's the six 
Um, mentioned this band a few times in this video, haven't I? But we have been listening to, um, and I've remembered this time, the best of Morbid Angel. I am not really a best of um, type of CD buyer, but I think this was £2.40 delivered from, like, Do is it Dodax in Germany? £2.40 delivered. Uh, and it was sealed as well. Obviously, the CD players and the uh, the CDs and the CD player. But um, the good swap for the car, these are they? the best of. I think I've got a best of bolt thrower. Um, I suppose it could be a bit of a cash in from earache, really, these, because it's kind of like all the stuff from their the earache years, same carcass entombed, uh, bolt thrower. But anyway, there you go, best of more with Angel. That's it, guys. Um, like I say, I'm, I'm going to try and keep these sort of videos a little bit shorter and see if I can make them a little bit more uh, often um, and not baffle you with sort of so much bands and information. And I'm also going to try and leave, if I remember, to put links to all the bands that I show you so it's a little bit easier for you to um, check them out. But um, yeah, I hope you've enjoyed it as always. Thank you very much for spending, um, what, nearly 12 minutes of your day with me. Much appreciated as always. Uh, take care everybody, look after yourselves, see you soon, bye for now.